okay dear students so let us see what is there in this question two positive and two negative charges are located at the corners of a square as shown the point x is the center of the square what is the value of electric field e and electric potential v at x due to the four charges anyways so uh, we know that uh, the positive charge it, it always cast an electric field which is away from it and the negative charge always have an electric field which is towards it so in this case this positive charge will be having an electric field here in this direction i can call it e1 and this charge will be having like electric field like this i'm calling it 3 so this is charge number 1 charge number 2 3 and 4 so e1 and e3 now we know that because the distances are the same the charges are the same the magnitude of e1 will be equal to e3 and they are opposite to each other so they will cancel each other so these two cancel each other and along with that this second number charge that is minus q it would be having an electric field towards itself so you can write it as e2 and e4 will be casting an electric field like this which is e4 now because the magnitude of e of, of uh, Uh, the second charge and the fourth charge is always uh, is uh, again same and the distances are also same so we can say that the magnitude of e2 and e4 is again same so these two will also cancel each other so overall the net electric field at point x should come out to be equal to zero so either it is a or it is c now we are talking about the electric potential at the point x so what will be that let us see now as per the potential is concerned we must be careful about this thing that positive charge will cast positive potential and potential is a scalar quantity so that is why i am not showing any direction there but i am just saying that the potential is positive and the negative charge will be casting negative potentials uh, wherever required or in the vicinity uh, but again it is a scalar quantity so i am not showing you the direction now coming back to our question so this positive charge will be casting a positive potential here and this negative charge will be casting a negative potential now the magnitude of the charge is the same and because the point x is at the center of the square so the distances to be taken in both of the cases they are also same so the potential values are same as per the magnitude is concerned now because of this third charge there will be plus v and again because of this minus q there will be minus v and in total the potential will also come out to be equal to 0 so our answer will be a in this case the answer is a so this is professor varun for you please subscribe to my youtube channel and all the best